Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a collaboration between Rock, Paper, Scissors and Point Please, the Point Please app in Finland. This is Point of New England IPA, please, a 5.5% ABV New England IPA in a 440 milliliter can. There's a look at the can. So the Point Please app is an app which you can download to your phone. You can check all your beers in. Lots of people did it in Brew London recently, 2022 Brew London. I think they had 2,000 downloads in a day, which is absolutely tremendous. Um, and then what you had then was the brewers uh, competing to become the number one beer at the festival. So they set up this little kind of corner of the app where um, it was it was actually a Brew London part of the app where brewers or, or people could check in beers and it would tell you who was number one of the whole kind of Brew London Festival. And it was really exciting, loads of fun, really good kind of stuff going on. Yeah, great stuff. So without further ado, and Rock Paper Scissors also, who produced this beer, have produced this New England IPA. Quite a carbonated number. Four finger white head. It looks like, mind you, it does look like it's going to dissipate quite quickly. If you have a look at the edge of the glass, if you have a look at all that carbonation, you can see it's it's large carbonation. That, that I almost kind of say that it folds in on itself. If you ever watch a beer like this, because we do, don't we? Let's be honest with you. If you're dying to get into your beer and you've got a massive head on it, you sometimes go, oh, come on, I'm dying to drink this damn thing. And you watch it, it kind of folds in. It just collapses on itself. In that last 10 seconds of talking, the head was there. Now it's there. In another 20 seconds, it'll probably be down there. You know, it's that type of thing where you haven't really got to la wait around too long for the beer to, to sort itself out. But I will say... Yeah, it's probably slightly over carbonated, but there we go. There we go. It traveled a long way from Finland. A light straw colored beer, good levels of, of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Nice and hazy, by the way, as well. Oh, it smells terrific. Absolutely terrific. Grapefruit. Passion fruit, mango, orange peel, tangerine. What oh, a real, real, real good, good quality. I mean, even through this nose, even through this kind of great big three, four finger head, I mean, the, the nose is tremendous. I'm going to dive in, but hang around because I've got to... I've been waiting to say it halfway through the review. I have got something to say about Pint Please and myself. Um, we are about to strike a deal. We're about to strike a deal where a business agreement between this app, Pint Please, and myself, Real L Craft Beer. First and foremost, though, the beer is always the most important thing. So let's get a taste on the beer then. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Really, really good quality New England IPA. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Wow. Loads of sharp grapefruit flavour coming through. Orange peel, tangerine. Nectarine, lemon peel, orange peel, spicy, peppery. Drinkability is ama amazing. Great mouthfeel. I imagine that Finnish soft water is playing a crucial part in the in the drinkability of this beer. It's a wonderful mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's a really good... It, it, this is my style of New England IPA, where... It does all of the things that you want it to do, 
like it holds kind of back that little bit of sweetness and it holds back on the bitterness a little bit so so basically all you're getting is a big middle a big solid middle of the beer not much bitterness not much sweetness everything everything in the middle tremendous absolutely tremendous Yeah, it's really, really good. Really, really good example of a New England IPA. But as I mentioned earlier, a slightly different style of New England IPA. And a New England IPA whereby... I mentioned a bit of peach and mango earlier on, but yeah. But no, but yeah, if that makes sense. This is leaning towards being more of a grapefruit, passion fruit, Orange peel, tangerine, nectarine. Really soft water. Carbonation pushed the beer on the inside of the mouth. Absolutely tremendous. Absolutely kind of tremendous, tremendous beer then. Which brings me to my announcement. Whether you're interested or not. If you're not interested, then skip to the end of the video and look for the rating of the beer. If you are interested, which I hope you are, um, myself and Pint Please, we met, well, I, I've worked with Pint Please previously. We had a badge, we have a badge, where, whereby if you book into the app on a Friday, you get the, hey, it's Friday type sticker every time you book in on a Friday with a beer. It's a bit like untapped. It's difficult not to mention Untapped. I wanted to go through the whole review without mentioning Untapped, but it's a, it's a it's a very similar version of Untapped that for me there's more animations going on. There's more funky stuff going on. It for me it's a better app. The Point Please app is a better app. Because we're on there, you can you can check in on a Friday, and uh, you you can see the real ale guide sticker. But anyway, th this deal uh, this deal is um, we are going to have our own banners on each other's. Well, I'm going to have it on the website, on the YouTube app, and on the website, and on the TV app, where it's going to be a brand new banner. If it's happened, if the deal is struck and it's happened, look above. Up my channel banner and you'll see a brand new banner if you go to the point please app they're going to make their own banner as well it's going to be a very similar looking banner where on my channel i'm advertising point please in terms of the the banner up here check out their app that sort of thing and on their app they're advertising my youtube channel so there's not a financial Nothing financial going on. I prefer these deals where there's no money exchanging hands. It's uh, an old fashioned, I'll help you out, you help me out type of deal. And that's the deal we like here on Real Ale Craft Beer. So, if there's loads of you now tuning in from Finland and the surrounding areas, or if you've come from the Point Please app, hello, how are you doing? How are you all doing? I think I'm about ready to rate this beer. Um, everything's in finish here on the back of the can. There's not too much in English going on. Um, I haven't really mentioned rock, paper, scissors too much. I, I really need to do that. Um, I met them in Bruland and they were a terrific bunch of guys. Uh, they make terrific beer. This beer is made by rock, paper, scissors. And it's a terrific example of a New England IPA. It really is, really good. But if you can get their beer in the UK, try and find it. Give it a go, it's really good. If, you, if you're watching in Finland, get some rock, paper, scissors beer. It's tremendous, absolutely amazing. Rating on this lovely, juicy New England IPA. I like it. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. My type of New England IPA. Passion fruit, grapefruit, orange peel, 
fleshy blood orange. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.